All right, let's do it. <laughs> Most important part. When Chapman Billies leave the street and thrifty neighbors, neighbors meet, as market days are wearing late and folks begin to talk the gate, well, we slip boozing at the nappy and getting food and unca happy. We think they on they long Scott smiles. Then Moss's water slaps and styles. What lie between us and our hame? Our sits are sulky, sullen dame, gathering brows like gathering storm, and nursing her wrath to keep it warm. <laughs> this truth, fand honest Tam O'Shanter, is he fray air when nected canter? Oh dear, what near a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. <laughs> O oh, Tam, O oh, Tam, had thou been but say wise as to tack thy ain wife Kate's advice, she'd tilt thou well thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken bellum that from November to October, a mercant day thou wast na sober, that every nag was cad a shoe on the smith and he got roaring through on, where every milker free the miller thou sat as long as thou hadst a lot of lords out, even on Sunday, <laughs> sat with Captain Jane till Monday. <sighs> Prophesized that later soon that would be found deep drowned in dune in the catch with warlocks and a mark by all our ways all haunted kirk. Oh, gentle dames, it gars me great to think how many counsels sweet, to think how many lengthened sage advices the husband fray the wife despises. But to our tale. A at night and Tom got planted uncorrect, fast by an ingle, blazing finely, where reaming swat, but drank divinely. And at his elbow stood there Johnny, whose ancient trusted droothy crony, Tom lured him like a very brother. They'd been foo on for weeks together. The next drave on like a oh, song and clatter, and ah, oh, the ale was growing better. The land. The landlady? The landlady and Tom. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> with favour, secret, sweet and precious. The minutes winged their way with pleasure. Fair play, Tam. Oh, shit, I fucked it up. Fair play, Tam. Oh, shit. The minutes winged their way with pleasure. As bees biz hame was laid to treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tom was glorious. So were all the yells of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize that flower, its bloom is shed. Or as the snow falls in the river, a moment white and melts forever. Or as the borealis race that flit ere you can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing through the storm. No man can tether time nor tide. The hour approaches to a moan ride. The hour of night's black arch the keystone. The dreary hour he mounts his beast in. The sick of night he tacks the road in. As near a poor sinner was a broad in. The rain blew as to the wind, rather. Winds blow, rains don't. The rain, the wind blew as to had blown its last. The speedy showers rose on the blast. Oh, the, the, the rattling showers rose on the blast. I need to do this more often. The rattling showers rose on the blast. The speedy gleams, the darkness swallowed. Wild! Deep! And lying! The thunder bellowed. On his hand, wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg. A baronet lifted like him, scalped on through dove and mire, despising wind and rain and fire. Whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, was crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, was glowing around with prudent cares, lest boggles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh where nightly gaze and hoolets cry. By this time, Tam has crossed the ford. Where in the snow the chapman smoored, and past the bark and muckle stain, where drunken Charlie back his brought his neck pain, and by the wind, uh, through the winds, and by the cairn, the hunters found the murder there, and near the thorn, the boon, the well, among those with their hangers, before him, doon poured all his floods, a doubling storm roared through the woods. When? Glowering through the trees, Kirk always seemed in our place. Through Ilka bore the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and Dancing, oh, <coughs> inspiring, bold John Barleycorn. What dangers canst thou mak us scorn? With tipping e will fear the eel. Wait. 
This game, ah, uh, will be a new deal. <laughs> <laughs> I swat Serene and Tammy's new old fair play. He carried the deals a bottle at Maggie. Stood right there, astonished. Till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on her left. And third, our attempts saw an unkissed sect. But witches, warlocks in a dance. Nick, cold, hang on, bred new from France, but on bites, jigs. Their spades and reels put life and metal in their heels. <coughs> a winner bunker in the east, they sat on men. In shape of pleased, a toozy tight black grim and large as the deal. To give music was his charge. He screwed the pipes <coughs> and got and scurl till roof and rafter raw did dirl. Coffins stood round like open presses. What shod the deed in their last dresses? And by some dealish can fight slight, he gelled in its cold hand. By which heroic Tom was able to note upon the Haley table a murderer's bands and gibbet ends. Twa span lang we on christened bairns, a thief, and they cut it frae the rape. <laughs> His last gasp a scab did gig, five scimitars with blood red rusted, five tomahawks with thunder crusted, a guard of which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, was in son of life bereft. Yet stuck to the heft, and more of her of all, and awful, what even to name would be unlawful. Whilst Tammy glowered, amazing curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. Loud and louder the piper blew, quick and quicker the dancers flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they clicked, till all the carol and swat and reek it, and cursed their daddies to the work, and like a data tend her sark. Now, Tam. Oh, Tam, had they been but, yeah, had they been but queens, and plump and strapping in their teens, their breeks of mine, oh shit, their, their sarks instead of creasy flannin, been snow white, seventeen hundred linen, their breeks of mine, my only pair, what once were flush with good blue hair, <laughs> in law, I would again from off me hurdies, for but a blank of one of birdies. So Burns was a bit of a, like a... Yeah, a little bit of ladies, man. Uh, but a blink of the bonny birdies, but with their bell booms, all been rolled. Ring worthy hags would spin a fall, looping and flinging on a crummock. I wonder they did not turn their stomach. They're up there. <laughs> but, Tom Kent, what was what, Foo Brawley? Yeah, there was a Winston Lynch and Wally that night enlisted in the core. Oh, long after Kent on Carrick shore, from many a beast to dead she shot and perished many a bony boat, and shook both muck and corn in the air, and kept the country side in fear her, Cutty Sark. Cut, Cutty Sark. Oh, Paisley Hairn, the well of lassie she had wear in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best and she was vaunty. Oh, little Kent, a reverend granny. That sark she crawled from her wee nanny with twopin' Scots to his awful riches. Whatever the priest that turns her witches. <laughs> <laughs> but here, but here, my muse, her wing one cure, six flights are far beyond her power. They sing how nanny lapped and flang. A supple jay she was and strong, and how Tam stood like. In bewitched, <laughs> and thought his very eye, and rich till first I caper, then another, Tom Kent his reason all together, and roars out, Well done, Cody Sark! That's a different accent, just to say something. <laughs> <laughs> in an instant, all went dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied, or out the hellish legion Sally, as, bill, as bees biz out with angry fight when plundering her to sail their bike. As open pussy's mortal foes when she stops before her nose as eager runs a merry crowd and catch the thief for his hounds as loud. So Maggie runs the witches full with money and eldritch screech and hollow. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, in hell they'll get thy fear. In hell they'll roast thee like a hare and in vain thy Kate awaits thy coming. Thy Kate will soon be a woeful woman. Now, do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain of the brig. They're at them now, they tell my thoughts. I in this dream, they turn the cross, but ere the keystone could she make a faint the tail she had to shake. For Nanny, 
Far before the rest, hard on. Noble Maggie pressed and flew at town with furious ethel. But, but, little was she Maggie's metal. A spring bread off, her master hailed. But, but behind her angry tail, the carlin caught her by the rump. Poor Maggie scares us. <laughs> now, now, why this tale of truth shall read? Each man and mither's son take heed when e'er to drink thou art inclined. Or cut his socks that ain't in your mind. Think! Be made by the joys of dear. Just remember, Amosha, there's me. Thank <laughs> you.